Hello boys and girls. I want to thank you for giving your name to be an altar server. We're delighted to have you. Now, I want you to watch this short video. It's easy to follow, easy to understand, and I think you'll find it helpful. It will explain all that is involved in being an altar server. So, thanks again. Now, here comes the video. Boys and girls, when you arrive at the church, you will go to the altar server's room. There you will find a press containing the altar server's albs. Taking them from the press, you begin to put on your alb in preparation for your role of serving at the Mass. When you are dressed and ready, you now proceed to the altar and as you go you bow before the altar and then join the priest in the sacristy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. God O oh Father we have called us today in the offering of Jesus Christ, your divine Son, in this Mass. Grant that every action we do, every word we say, may unite us more closely in our love for you and for one another. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our brother. Mary, our mother, and St. Patrick, help us to offer this Mass with love and attention. Leaving the sacristy, having said your prayer, the altar server's prayer, you now genuflect before the altar. You proceed to your seat, and there you remain standing for the opening rites of the Mass and for the opening prayers. During the Mass we adopt different postures. It's important that we show reverence and respect in the house of God while always feeling at home and relaxed. During the Mass we offer to the Lord the gifts of bread and wine. They are received by the priest while you as the altar server will stand to the left and right of the priest and take them in turn to the altar. Notice how the priest and the parishioners bow towards each other, recognising Christ present in you, me and in each other. On the credence table, close to the altar, you will see the crutes, the ciboria with the breads, also the chalice, and placed on the chalice is the pattern. Now you will hand the pattern to the priest, and in turn the ciboria, which he will offer in prayer to God and in thanksgiving. Next you will hand to the priest the chalice. The cloth there is referred to as the purificator. Now in turn the crude containing the wine is poured into the chalice, likewise the water. Receiving them again from the priest you place them on the credence table. Now taking the bowl and the towel, the priest offers a silent prayer in preparation for the consecration of the Mass that will follow.
During the consecration, you will kneel and ring the bell at specific times, recalling the most important parts of our Mass. Where the bread and the wine becomes the body and the blood of Christ. After the people present in the church have received Holy Communion, you return to assist the priest at the altar. There you pour the water into the chalice. This is to purify the chalice after its use during the Mass. After the prayers are offered, after receiving Holy Communion, the priest offers a final blessing and invites the people to go forward to love and to serve the Lord. You then proceed to the front of the altar and there, together with the priest, you will offer a genuflection, a sign of our reverence and respect for the house of God and for the presence of Jesus. In the sacristy, you will conclude by praying together the altar service prayer after Mass. Now that Mass has concluded, you return to the same room, the altar service room, taken off your alb, placing it on the hanger and then placing it into the press. So now you're finished serving mass. Well done. <laughs>